So in lesson seven two, we're gonna be learning how to create the balance sheet. This is our last financial report that we have to create. And remember, all that information comes from the previous box in this accounting cycle or flow chart. And so it's coming from the worksheet. And the previous lesson, we talked about that income statement. Now we're doing the balance sheet. So if we wanna look, this is what a balance sheet completed will look like. The balance sheet is gonna cover our assets, our liabilities, and our owner's equity. And let's break it down just a little further. When we were preparing our worksheet, we drew an imaginary line on the income summary, and everything below income summary went on the income statement, and everything above the income summary line is going to be on our balance sheet. So I kind of cropped out the worksheet information so you could see it here, but everything above the income summary line, again, it follows our assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, our accounting equation. So it's going to include our assets, which is our cash, petty cash, accounts receivable, supplies, and prepaid insurance. Then it will include our liabilities or our accounts payable. And finally, it will include our owner's equity. So this is our capital, our drawing, and our net income or a net loss. So let's go over the steps of creating the balance sheet. The first thing is to do the heading. And the first thing on our heading is the company name. This is the same as when we created our income statement and the same as the heading for when we created our worksheet. The second thing is to say what report we are making. In this case, we're making the balance sheet, so it's this balance sheet. The worksheet said worksheet, the income statement said income statement. And then the last thing is to put our date. Now the worksheet and the income statement both said for month ended. This is where it's just slightly different. The balance sheet just says the month and the date. So this example, it says August 31st and then whatever year we have. So no month ended on our balance sheet, just our month and our date. After you've done the heading, we're gonna break down the balance sheet following our accounting equation. So our accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We're gonna use that to break down how we organize our balance sheet. So first we draw an imaginary line, just like we drew the imaginary T account of our accounting equation. And then we're gonna start by doing our assets heading. So we're gonna write assets on the left. And then we will take all of our assets accounts and the amounts that were shown on the worksheet and we're just gonna plunk them in right in the same order they were in the worksheet. So cash for 4964, petty cash for 100, then we've got accounts receivable for Oakdale for 150, accounts receivable for campus for 100, supplies for 310, and prepaid insurance for 1100. So we're just directly copying from the worksheet. Once we have each of our asset accounts and the amounts listed, we are going to total or add up all of our assets. So in this case, I would take my 4964 plus 100 plus 150 plus 100 plus 310 plus 1100. And the total assets amount would be 6,724. Now that I'm done with the assets side of my balance sheet, I'm gonna start and move on to the right side, which is with a liabilities heading. So I'm gonna write liabilities. And then the same that I did with the assets, I'm taking the liabilities accounts and their amounts, and I'm just dropping them in listed by order. So I'm gonna have accounts payable to Supply Depot for 200, and accounts payable to Thomas Supply for $50. And then, just like I did with assets, I'm gonna total up my liabilities. So if I take 200 plus 50, I should have a total liabilities of $250. At this point, the only thing we have left to do in our accounting equation of assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity is the owner's equity portion. And so here's where we left off. I just shrunk it down a little bit. We've got our assets on the left side, which is the same as our accounting equation. And we've started on the right side. We've got our liabilities. And so now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to drop in our owner's equity heading under liabilities. So we get owner's equity. And then if we look back at the worksheet, we have the capital, the drawing, and the income accounts left to record under this owner's equity section. On the balance sheet, they take all of these and they squish them together and they only report the capital account. So we have to combine these three accounts somehow. So the way to do that is first by taking the number that was in the capital and subtracting our drawing because because remember, drawing stands for withdrawal, and if I withdraw, it's money coming out of the account. After we subtract the drawing, we're going to add in a net income 
or if we had a net loss, we would subtract the net loss. So capital minus drawing, if it's a net income, you add. If it's a net loss, you subtract. In this case, we've got a net income. So what I would do is I would take my capital account, which was $5,000. I'd subtract my drawing, 625. And then I have a net income. So I would add in the net income amount, which is $2,099. So in my capital account left over that I'm going to record is $6,474. So I'm going to write Kim Park Capital, 6474 Then I need to total up the right side of my accounting equation. So I'm going to total up liabilities and owner's equity. So I'm going to take that capital account I just figured, and I'm going to add in the total liabilities. So add in the 250 and I get $6,724. If that total liabilities and owner's equity equals my total assets, that is the whole point of the accounting equation. Assets equals total liabilities plus owner's equity. So we can double rule and we are done with our balance sheet.